Hey, it's Dorlene and I'm playing in my junk journal today. As always, I'm going to go through my junk journal and find an unfinished page. I'm using air quotes on that because um, if you follow or if you've seen my flip throughs, you know that even though these pages have some ink or medium on it, I consider them unfinished because there's no... Um, well, they're unfinished. <laughs> so um, I thought I was filming, and of course I wasn't, but um, I used hummingbird stamps on this page on the, the left, um, also using some stamps right here. These were actually stamps that I made. They're just kind of a, um, like a grungy mark-making stamp set, and I'll have the link in my uh, in the box down below and also on my blog, which will link will be um, down below as well. So I just started really um, building on those hummingbirds. I really wanted to do a hummingbird page. We had a hummingbird make a nest in our backyard and it was the talk of our, the females of our family because we got to see mom, you know, protecting her nest and then the um, eggs hatching and then also the birds eventually flying away but um it was really fun and really uh nature's uh nature show right in our backyard but i used a variety of uh, paint markers which i'm doing right here a silver marker just writing the word hum and i did some white paint markers earlier again thought i was filming wasn't but you can see that i just made random circles over on that right side I um, had added some acrylic paint, which I'm doing right now as well. Um, I did a lot of black kind of splatter, which is some watered down um, black acrylic paint. Um, you saw me doing the stamping. In a little bit, I'm going to write the word clack because I don't know if it's a thing. And it may have been because mom was protecting her babies. But they were making a lot of clacking sounds every time, like... It seemed like there were some predator birds coming around. So I did end up writing clack here and there. Um, this script stamp is one of my favorite, and I feel like I use it every time I do anything in my junk journal. But I just like to put a little bit of ink. I don't want it like a full impression, but just enough to give that script. I think it's just really um, a nice, uh, like a background stamp, not really in your face, but just a little bit of, of something. So when I painted the hummingbirds, I have some pearl paint, I want to say it's called, that I was gifted, and I always forget about it, but it's such a pretty paint, and so I did pull those out, and you see how I put the white pen around it? After I um, did that, I realized I didn't like it. Right now, I'm going through with a black pen, and this is just like a Bic marker, but I love it in this junk journal. It just works out really well, especially with all the medium and stuff. Of course, you do have to make sure that everything's dried first, because otherwise, it will ruin the tip, but as I was outlining it I really messed up in a couple of spots so then I just went with that and did that intentionally so if you look really close you can see how it's just kind of wonky here and there and then I actually added on purpose some just kind of squiggly lines versus like trying to outline it completely but you see how pretty those blues and the greens look on those hummingbirds the mama that we had had a green belly so I wanted to get more of that green um, but I really like it. So anyhow, I hope you do like this video. Give me a thumbs up if you do. Don't forget, forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I mentioned earlier that I regretted putting that white um, fine tip uh, lines around the hummingbirds. So I'm trying to just, I just got some white acrylic paint. And I'm going to try to smudge that a little more. Now the problem with this is it also leaves a, a, a much larger shadow. But you can just see me as I'm painting around it as I'm really trying to like um, use water it down and kind of blend it in as much as possible so it gives it like a kind of like a highlighting shadow if you want to call that if that's even a thing but I definitely like it a lot better than the really starkness of the white bright line that went around the whole thing um, so the one thing I like about playing in my junk journal is that's exactly what I'm doing I'm just playing I usually don't have a plan I usually am just kind of going with the flow, pulling colors that I want. Um, it is rare if I have a plan, um, but, uh, you know, it does happen every so often. If you haven't already, you can go through my, or flip through my uh, signatures. I have six signatures in this junk journal, and I have actually two rounds of each signature on my junk journal playlist. And I did that because the first round I had a lot of unfinished pages, and then um, I finished a lot. So then I thought, well, let me do a second round. Um, plus, my hand was um, 
I wasn't able to use my hand for a while because <clears throat> I had hand surgery earlier. And so I um, thought, well, that was a good thing to do on YouTube. Um, I'm adding this yellow and you see how I'm just very loosely holding the brush and I'm really just kind of moving my hand uh, here and there. So I, I like the effect that that's giving. Um, I always love yellow in my... Um, on my pages because I think yellow is just so fun. Oh, here's a box of those paints that I was talking about. I have a lot. So if this is something you're interested in, please leave me a comment. Um, I would love to gift some of these if that's something you're interested in. But I hope you enjoy the video. Like I said, hit that subscribe button down below. And um, I do at least two videos a week. One will always be scrapbooking. The other is whatever it is I'm creating in the command center, which is the name of my craft room and my blog. Um, so thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this. Bye.